James Allen Rose of Harkers Island was a nationally recognized model boat builder, as well as a gifted musician and storyteller. He won the North Carolina Heritage Award for his boat building skills in music. In this interview, James Allen shares a story with Connie Mason of how he got his first guitar. His story evokes the culture and landscape of Harkers Island before it was connected to the mainland by bridge in 1941. Mom used to get a little catalog from Lancaster County Seed Company in Lancaster, Pennsylvania. And they had all sorts of flower seeds and vegetable seeds and, and different little items for sale and whatever. But on this one particular catalog they had on the back of it, they had a picture of a beginner's guitar. The offer was, if I would sell four dollars worth of seeds, add four dollars, I could receive that very fine beginner's guitar. Well, I mean, according to them, you know, it was a cheap guitar, very cheap, but I was so happy. I rode an old rusty bicycle all over Hartford Island until I sold four dollars worth of seed at five cents a pack. And Mom said, you've done very well. She said, I'm going to put the four dollars to it if I starve to death. So she did, and sent off. Now the post office was down on the shore then. You could walk right straight out the front door of the post office, right out on the dock, and out on the end where the pet bell boat was tied up. Now the pet, that was the name of the boat. That was, the pet was the name of uh, Captain Kelly Willis's a uh, commercial boat, but he built a little cabin on the after, after section for passengers to ride to and from Boker. I've been a couple trips on the old pet myself. So they would bring the, the mail and the freight over on the mail boat called the pet. That's right. Come from Beaufort and land at that landing. Right, that there, right there on that, to that dock. And Mr. Kelly would throw them a line and that bunch of boys would pull that boat right on up to the dock so he could unload the mail bags and that sort of thing. And after school, I went and ride the bus so I could go down and come home along the shoreway just to check to see if my guitar was out yet. I must have worried Mr. Floyd to death because he said, no, I don't see it today. <laughs> and so, so I try, I wait a couple of days and I go down, back down and on the way home. And I said, Mr. Floyd, is there a package in there for me? Finally, he said, yeah, here's something right here. You know. And he brought it out here with a cardboard box. It was so long. And I half ran home, clear from up there home. And we laid it on the table. And me and Mom opened the box and said, here's your guitar. He said, I went to work, put the strings on it and everything. and but I didn't know what to do with the thing. Uh, you know, it's brand new here now. This is something different. And I went, I took it over to Uncle Skate, or Cleta, and said, oh, you got you a new guitar. Good for you, you know. So he tuned it right away. He said, I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll draw you a diagram where to put your fingers on the cord. On each cord, you know. He drew that out on a piece of a sheet of paper. He said, now I want you to take this home and you practice. Something was working on my mind. I, uh, maybe I can hum with that. Started humming along with it. And after a little while, uh, my mom said, Buddy says, maybe you should take that out on the outside. <laughs> yes, I was getting on her nerves. So I go out walking around the yard and do, 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 do. And that's where it all started, you know. 